All right, so I was thinking earlier, like, all you're seeing at uh, top level right now is, like, Bodvar, Val, uh, Fool, and even Mordex, actually. You know, all these Hammer and Gauntlet's Legends. But for some reason, there's not really any any core, which is, like, really confusing to me, at least, because, I mean, I think Boomy uh, played him in, in, in NA, like, a, a few tourneys back. But apart from that you're really just not seeing like any at all which is considering that you know there's a lot of these hammer golden sessions both these weapons are very very good right now like very very good and you're not seeing like any of it it's it's weird and you know it's not like the legend's bad you know the legend has insane sigs uh good but very good stats and that should always drop on hammer but it doesn't because balance right but anyway um yeah, you, you're just not seeing any core which I, I find like very weird and that was probably one of the dumbest things i think i have ever in my entire career hala career it, is it a career if you're like ter terrible the game? probably not but you know that was that was a question for me um anyway though yeah like i, I just don't understand like, i genuinely just don't i think once someone picks up core it's gonna <laughs> it's, it's gonna be game over like surely surely someone will would have had the idea by now so you know i guess actually i guess if you are really you know going for a you know a gorn and such and you're probably gonna pick someone like val or maybe mordex just to have fun or i don't know if you're going for like a hammer legend you're gonna pick someone like bodwa maybe something like that so I guess it makes sense, but you know, he's just, he's extremely, extremely good. But then I, I guess just not quite good enough to be up there with, you know, like the top, top legends. But I don't know. It's just, just a thought I had uh, about this legend. Okay. Well, a, cl a nice little clip would have, would have, would have, would have gone. A nice little clip would have been nice. Well, I don't know about the English involved in that sentence, but I'm sure you know what, I'm, what I mean. Uh, okay. This guy's just, he's just moving. He, he's schmoving, but I don't know whether it's, a, you know, a good thing or a detriment because he, he's schmoving into his own minds. And yeah, I, I don't know about that. Um, I don't know about that schmoving, but yeah, so uh, honestly, I can't even lie. That's basically what I have to say about Baudois. Um, and the rest of it will be me ranting. So, you know, if that's not for you, then. Like, if you're on my channel right now, if you subscribed, I mean, I mean, if you're not subscribed, you know what to do, but yeah, you, you Three, definitely, two, you definitely don't one, mind me roll. rambling about random stuff. And today, I think, I think that the topic of the day is, is cooking, right? Cooking channels, cooking in general, like, I, I feel like, right, there's no better content on earth than, than these, these cooking channels. And I, I swear there's like a new one every single week, right? There's, there's a new, like cooking channel just destroying youtube and just getting like millions of views and stuff but i've been watching some some what's his name he's like ah uh, i don't know his first name but i know the last name is like giovanna giovanni Gio, Gio, Devan, something like that. you know it's not an italian that is italian right that better be italian or else i'm gonna look like a like a clown but um yeah i think so anyway but uh, yeah i don't know just cooking channels and like not, not even like, eat it like you know like the uh, like competitive eating channels that is peak peak entertainment but uh actually i don't think i've been watching much of that it's mostly just the actual cooking channels and cooking myself because if you don't know uh I, I thought i was supposed to be a recovery okay uh, i actually like live by myself and i have done for quite a while now so you know learning to cook for myself has been pretty crucial otherwise you know i, I just starve and die and you know that's not very very optimal uh, also to really leave this game and see the next one but yeah like watching these channels right like just cook this insane stuff and it's just i'm sat here making literally like the same like I, the way i eat right is is i feel like very un uh unhuman i was gonna say unnormal but i don't really think that's that that makes sense but yeah i, I eat weirdly because i literally eat the same like few meals every single week like it's not like i'll try and only have the same meal once per i guess seven days but yeah it is literally that like the seven different meals i eat 
and I'll eat all of them uh, within, you know, the span of a week. And it's, I don't know why, I just can't be bothered, like, like, finding out meals to make. And I feel like everything else is so much effort. Like, I'll make, so one is, is steak, right? That is uh, beautiful. That's, like, probably the best. Uh, and then next is chicken. Chicken and some pasta, you know, some, 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 some chilies on the side. I don't know why that's a thing, but I guess, I, I don't know. I Hopefully, okay, you know, a side note, this entire video is going to be just, like, is, what's, what's the word even, like, like, tangents, Th that is the word, right, but it's just going to be tangent after tangent, also, he should have died to that mine, I'm quite disappointed in this game for, 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 for not giving me that one, but, hot food is something that is awkward, because it's, it's, to me anyway, like some people don't like the taste or whatever, but to me, I think like the taste of spicy food and just any like hot sauce, jalapenos, like just, just any spice, right? It all tastes amazing, but like I have a pretty decent tolerance, right? I, di I didn't used to, I definitely didn't used to, like when I was really younger, but then, you know, I started eating loads of like, um, loads, loads of food uh, that my dad used to make and it was all, it was all spicy, right? And it kind of it kind of built up over time, and you know now I basically like most of my food that I eat is just hot, right? So like it, it it's getting there, it's definitely getting there. But still, there's some foods that's like I would sit down and crunch on all day, but I just can't because it's like too hot, right? And uh, there's these, uh, I mean, you don't even know what they are because I think it's really what's the word? It's not niche. I don't think I mean that's what you call it. Um obscure but it's these like chilies right and they come in a jar it's not jalapenos though it's like these are actual like long chilies that if a kebabs like a thing in america they, they might be they might not be um but in the uk they're like a massive thing and sometimes you'll get one in like a or like a less hot kind of version it's like a long green chili and it's got like juice inside it and it, it tastes it tastes beautiful but they're hot right uh the ones like like you'd actually buy in a jar anyway i think you know i think like kebab shops are like watered down because yeah there's you know the people that go to the kebab shops are the same people who find like mayonnaise spicy so it's they, it, they can't be you know they can't be too too wham so obviously they're a bit they're a bit they're a bit nerfed um but the actual ones are they're so nice and like i try and eat them and then I, i'm actually die you know like when you're like you go dizzy from like panting right it's uh, you just have to stop right you, you can't carry on but yeah it's uh, i wish i wish there was a way to like just completely turn off you know like your your your, your I, I don't even know like spice receptors i don't think that's a thing I, i've i've like my english language like, ability to speak english oh my days please ne that is the life of a side man. i feel bad honestly but yeah, I wish you could just give yourself like unlimited tolerance to, to like spice and heat and stuff because oh my days, if you could, I can't I'd probably be in a hospital from like the amount of stomach ulcers I'd, I'd achieve from uh, from eating all this food. Uh, not all of it obviously, like there's some that are, you know like the ones that are made just to be hot for the sake of it, just for clout, like, like the ones that the YouTubers eat for challenges and stuff, like those are, they're all disgusting. And I, I don't even understand why they exist. It's literally, they don't taste good, right? And they're not like, they're, they're too hot to, to eat anyway. Like even if they tasted good, then they'd be too hot to eat anyway. Like it's, it's they're genuinely the most pointless things. Like people grow them uh, just, just so they could, just for clout, literally just so they can say, you know, I, I've got the hottest chili. This is some riveting gameplay. Just keep in mind, this is experimental at 4 a.m. or 4, 4.30, I think it's nearly, it's only 5 a.m. and I have to ex I've experienced this. This is very, very interesting. Okay, but anyway, death? No, of course not. Of course, it's never death. He's not dying to that. No way. Oh my days! He has to play guitars and thunder god. I feel bad for him. Oh my days! Wait, actually, we could. You know what? I think I think it's story time. It must have been. Must have been some a long time since since we had a since we had a little, little story time on the channel, but I think um speaking of you know those like really hot chilies and stuff, I think um because I think I should share you know a story of me being a dumb kid right and deciding to eat I think it was like the fourth hottest chili in the world 
or something something like that it must have been their like fourth or, or fifth or something. it was hotter than a goose chili and that was like one of the hottest at the time right because this must have been like four years ago uh i think in that year of school i was 14. so yeah so yeah about four years ago and we got these um me and my friend were in english class right we, we were chatting about uh you know he had the the better like tolerance to hot food and stuff and he, he was adamant that it was him and i wasn't having it right? i was like well no it, there's zero chance ever that you have a, a better a better tolerance than me so he was like okay then prove it so after school we went to tesco which is like you know like a uk version of, of walmart i guess right, walmart is it's just a grocery store basically um like a big one and we were like okay let's, let's just go find the hottest thing and then obviously you see your handles it better and you know it's tesco right so it's like a it's just like a normal grocery store so we don't expect to find actually anything too too crazy right? we don't expect to go there and find some like disgustingly hot chili like like one that'll kill you right but we thought we could find something right even if it wasn't like a chili i thought we'd maybe find like a like a hot snack or you know like there's there's like devil's toe or something like that and it's like there's hot lollipops or whatever that are like really really disgustingly hot we thought maybe we might find something like that so we went and we checked this, the chili thing first and like the like the produce bit where like lettuces and all that stuff and there we, we found this chili and it was called like a komodo dragon chili right so i mean obviously never heard of that before i'm sure you uh, you lot haven't either but we, we saw one of them and we thought it can't be too hot but might as well check it out and we checked the label and it advised to, to not handle it without gloves so then we were like okay we've stumbled across something serious right we, we we've got some serious some serious heat going on so we decided to buy a, a little bag of them right um and that was probably not the best of decisions as you'll you know come to come to the conclusion of by the end of this video all my days if this video ever ends because obviously i'm gonna have to finish this game first and if this guy just wants to triple jump across the map like it's not gonna happen unfortunately there we go my days but yeah so we bought like a bag and we just decided to like obviously what is youtubers to do like they'll, they'll i guess they'll take a bite of like a ghost chili like a small bite and they won't even swallow it they'll, they'll just take a bite out of it and then that'll be it and then they'll, they'll cry for half an hour you're fully grown men and we were 14 right and the, the guy who you know was saying like you know to, to prove it and stuff he didn't actually have like a good tolerance like he was he was just doing it you know as like a joke right yeah, okay that time we did dodge up and in but it, it, i didn't like you know he actually didn't have a good tolerance at all uh, it was it was very bad um he didn't eat spicy food at all and uh yeah it was it was not good for him um but still we both ate an entire chili like literally a whole one uh apart from the stem obviously uh, just popped it all in the mouth and just ate all of it and like swallowed us off because obviously you, when you watch people eat these chilies like they always spit it out but no, no, no we, we were committed as 14 year old kids right and we swallowed this chili because before we actually ate it we didn't know like how hot it was we didn't search uh you know how hot this chili was like the, the scovar units or whatever turns out it was actually hotter than ghost chilies it was like the eighth hottest or it was along those lines like eighth fifth something like that i might have already said that actually i don't know but yeah it was, it was, it was really hot but we didn't know that till after we ate it and you know that's obviously the, the the damage had already been done at that point um but yeah we, we just ate it all swallowed it and everything and at first it was like okay that wasn't too bad maybe maybe you know it was just tesco you know over exaggerating it you know they're not they're not too hot but then you know slowly but surely it, it started kicking in and yeah it was probably the most excruciating pain and i'm not even joking like it was some of the most pain i've felt in my whole life was was eating that chili and swallowing it i think between us because obviously like we, we we ate it right outside the shop like as soon as we got outside the shop we decided to you know eat it because not bitch made obviously um and all that led to was us having to scramble for milk like because obviously like if we ate it right outside the shop like it's not like we had 
any milk or you know anything any ice cream or anything to soothe the pain once the pain started like we were just on our own you know with the, with the chili and with the with the tears and oh my god and when we finally got milk actually um and this is this is the worst part like this i had such a worse time than my friend because we got milk from from this like shop we, we walked we had to walk about half a mile to the to the next shop because that we'd already walked about i'd say like a quarter of a mile before we realized that oh yeah we're gonna need we're gonna need something to to ease the immense pain that we're in uh so we walked like another quarter of a mile right um to to the next shop so it'd been a decent amount of what like it was a long time of this this heat just like marinating right with, with no with no remedy and this guy is turning on the the, the the sweats it is once again half four in the morning and he wants to win an experimental game this way I, like it, why i don't understand you don't have to like it's it's like yeah, i want a screenshot you know you can you can use but anyway <laughs> like i was saying before i got interrupted by the sweat uh was oh oh never mind but yeah we finally got to the shop we got the milk and i, I literally i stood in the freezer like you know when you can walk into the freezers um and it's like you know there's a bit of stock there there's like the crates of milk and stuff i literally walked in there and just sat in the freezer and i cooled my body off for a while like it was that peak you have no idea like the pain that i felt but the real and true pain uh like i was saying it came from uh after we'd already gone at the shop we got the milk and everything i walked outside this shop right and then i made a very rookie mistake and i probably should have worn gloves actually like the like the thing advised because i decided that you know my, my eye actually hurt a little bit so i thought i might have i guess you know been dumb and touched my eye with the chili but it didn't hurt too much right so i i thought you know it'd be, it'd be okay but i thought just to be safe and you know to make sure it doesn't develop like you know the heat did in my mouth right because obviously the way it developed in my mouth was pain and i didn't want that to happen in my eye or else I, it'd probably be like a like a hospital trip right so i thought you know i just i'll wash it out a little bit with, with the milk right that's what people do when they get sprayed with like pepper spray stuff like that tear gas like it's always it's always you know you wash it out with the milk that's it's like a known thing so it's like, okay with this milk that i'm drinking i might as well wash out my eye problem was i hadn't actually like washed my hands and i don't know why i didn't think of this but i hadn't washed my hands since eating the chili so i grabbed like this you know cup full of milk like i cut my hands or well, you know, one of my hands anyway uh, and poured milk into it put into you know my, my cupped hand and it was the same hand i ate the chili with and then i splashed it in my eye straight in my eye and then i looked like you know if you've watched invincible Right, and you see in, you know, the, the um, maybe this is spoilers, but you probably see the memes anyway, if you haven't, and his eyes are all red and everything, he just looks, he looks pissed, right, that, that was, that was me, because I just put one of the world's hottest chilies directly into my eyeball, and that was about, you know, three times as bad as the actual, like, you know, the pain in the mouth, the pain in the mouth didn't even compare actually to the pain in the eye and the pain in the mouth was already one of the the most painful things i've ever experienced like it all in all uh, as, as a 14 year old kid as well right keep on this was like I, I think the pain lasted a solid hour maybe two hours and you know afterwards it, like even though the pain was gone it was still like i was traumatized like the pain was gone sure but the mental damage had been done at that point. It's like you finish a like a like an experimental game, right? Against some 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 sweats, and then you, you know like straight away the game's over. But the mental's still in ruins because you've been salt taunted by someone at half four in the morning. Like I hope I'm I hope I'm not like you know manifesting this, and this guy just somehow beats me and salt taunts me now because I'm saying that. But I mean we'll see, I guess. Oh, that was close actually. Never mind. He might. <laughs> he just might do a couple more. There's one arm then six. Oh, it's over for me. But yeah, that was that was just a little story. I thought I'd tell because it's been a while since since the last last story I told in the channel. But yeah, how did it start? I was gonna talk about cooking. And I just talked about me dying eating the chili at 14 years old, like a like a dumb kid. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. But Player two, 
Anyway, I think I'm gonna end it there. Um, um, yeah, uh, that's about it. I hope you lot have enjoyed uh, the little little rent and the, the the tangent that turned out to be a 10 minute story. I think this has probably been a very long video actually, so you know my bad. But I hope you've enjoyed anyway. And if you did, you know leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and peace.